What's up guys? You know who it is, DJ Wu Pig. And today, long, long, long awaited video. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting this for some time, but I haven't had the time to do it. And um, now I have plenty of time. Why not clean up the shop? That way it's ready to rock and roll once we get back to work, uh, utilize my space a little bit more easily or, or, or better, and, uh, and just go from there. So today, today, I'm gonna give you guys a full tour of the Crown Entertainment warehouse and office. Let's go. On this tour, I'm gonna be working back to front. So the back far wall where uh, we don't use things quite as often, and then we're gonna work towards the stuff that we use uh, most of the time. So um, let's just get this thing started with the staging department. What do we have for staging? In some of my videos, you've probably seen like the big mobile stages that we bring in. That is not mine. That's a subcontractor deal. I always run in staging. When you get into staging, um, you know, especially like the mobile staging, insurance gets crazy things just get nuts and that's not something uh, I'm ready to get into I've got a great friend who owns a stage uh, I've got another acquaintance that owns several stages and anytime I need something for a festival uh, whatever those are my go-to guys but anytime I set up a small stage for like a corporate event where they need a riser or a drum riser or whatever I have my own decks let's show you those guys so right here we have a total of seven uh, Pinel Com four by eight decks. They're super heavy. They've got you know 12 inch legs on the back sides of them, and then there's a set of stairs that's sitting up there. So um, those are the go-to. They're heavy duty. They can support a lot of weight. Anytime I need a stage deck that's outside, this is what I go to. But inside of here, this case here, we have some of the Intelli deck staging. Um, there's the decks for them back there. They come in four by four squares they're not as heavy duty um, but they work well as well so anytime somebody needs like a simple riser platform where it's like a, a person talking or in a church or a youth group or whatever I send these guys out if, if we don't have a full band or you know whatever on them it, let's say we're doing uh, a wedding and they want a stage for the DJ they want the DJ elevated this is what I send because it's a lot easier a lot easier to mess with a lot easier um the, the pinel com decks are four by eight they're probably um i would say 80 to 90 pounds per um and these are four by four with aluminum decking or uh, aluminum strut that holds it up and they might be 15 pounds a piece so a, a lot easier i can put them in the van i can you know set them in the tailgate of somebody's truck if they're renting them um they're easy but they're nowhere near as heavy duty next up we have our genie super lifts anytime we can't fly we'll send these guys out they're super cumbersome um, but they can lift a lot of weight they can lift uh line array towers or truss towers if you need a front stage backstage whatever and you can't do it with motors our lifts is what we go to um as you can tell again they're they're a little bit cumbersome i'm six foot tall and that's another foot taller than i am so getting them in the trailer um is a pain so anytime we can we want to use motors but sometimes that's just not possible so we have to go with a genie lift they're okay but i hate them Next up, we have uh, four of the EV X-Array cabinets. I don't, you guys have never seen these probably. I don't use them a lot. They're also for sale. Link in the description. Um, I'm just looking to find these guys a new home. They're badass speakers, but um, I don't utilize them. So they're for sale. So EV X-Arrays, I'm not going to go into too much detail on those because they are for sale. So again that's what they are uh empty road case just because it's uh in the way and again it's it's for sale as well so let's pull it out and we can get to some of the stuff that's back here in here these are our uh our tv monitors our, our 55 inch displays anything that's bigger than this will typically go to a projector screen or we'll we'll rent in some led walls but um, we keep our tvs back here nine times out of ten um in the in the northeast with like the homies like uh bar and brandon havrilla and and guys up in like the tri-state area um they sell a lot of packages with tvs here not so much we probably send tvs out to um to weddings maybe four or five times a year maybe um they work well in corporate breakout rooms which is what we use them a lot for also for like bridal shows and stuff like that that's the bulk of what we send out our tvs for um anything bigger 
if we're doing a festival i ran in an led wall got great led wall partners all across across the country um, not just here in central arkansas so um, anything bigger than that we just we step them up to a projector or an led wall if it's if it if the budget is there but we've got two 55 inch tvs i, I do have as many as four if if someone needs four tvs for a breakout room instead of going and buying them and only using them so many times a year i just take the tvs off the wall in my office I'm not going to be using them if they're uh, if they're if I'm on a job. So why why spend an extra fifteen hundred two thousand dollars on a pair of TVs when you just take them off the wall, protect them, and then put them back? I guess I'll start with like this general area right here. Um, these inside of here are our two um, Radiance Tour Hazers. We've got two of them inside of this case here. Uh, this case houses our our mole flays or moles is a four part led cob blinder let me open this guy up four of them sit down in there they work really well really really well i enjoy them um multi-use out of this we we use these and we rent these a lot to just if someone needs just general outdoor lighting you can light up a football field with four of these so we we send them out quite a bit moving over to this case here which is currently open this houses our LED battens. These are two meter, I believe, two meter battens. I've got some hanging up on that truss right there, just doing a little lighting programming. Um, but we've got 10 of those guys. They live in that case. On this side, we've got uh, six or eight uh, Lecos for, uh, you know, source four fixtures. Um, they live in this big carpeted rack here. Uh, there's nothing else to say about about Lecos. It is what it is. In these two cases here, these are LED IP um, Zoom PAR. So it's RGBAW. Um, I have 16 of them. So there's eight a piece. They are you or they are IP rated, meaning that we use them outside. Um, they work really, really well. I got them for a, a pretty good deal. Um, bought them overseas, but they they work really well, especially for what I need them for. Typically any outdoor festival, this is going to be our front wash just because if it rains We can put it up there still have light on the stage not have to worry about anything So I've got 16 of those guys I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can kind of see what they look like. It's kind of a beast to get them in and out Moving on up to the middle shelf. We'll cover that on the other side, but this is where we keep our haze fluid our confetti for our confetti cannons which are on the other side here um, this is corrugated uh, it's like plastic but we can use these we can stick these over led um, fixtures and change the the diffusion angle so instead of having like a really tight beam i use this as diffusion gel i forget where i got it but you can get this from any plastic or um, laminate supplier in your area uh, if you're looking for plexiglass chances are they've got some of this stuff on hand so if you're looking to change your your beam angle that's something i would go for uh this is a rack that's currently empty this is also a rack that's currently empty in here we have our uh our white drape for anytime we do a pipe and drape setup um that's just full of of white drape in here uh various parts pieces to you know tvs this is you know we're hanging tvs with clamps and stuff like that these are extra brackets for when i take my tvs out of my offices uh, I leave them in here. The other ones live inside the case. Uh, let's see here. Another TV mount. We don't have to worry about that. In here, we have the uh, the Martin M Touch, which is the, uh, I guess it's now considered the NX Touch, maybe, by Alation. Uh, Alation bought Martin, uh, or at least they bought their, their control. So instead of having Martin control surfaces like the M Touch or the M to Go, which I have over there on the table, um, it's all elation now. But inside of this case here is a M Touch and a uh, five pin DMX. You know, I try to label everything that way it's easy to go out. Oh, let's see here. Right here under, you know, at the end, just because it's so big and, and long and uh, awkward to put anywhere else we have the hoverboard stereo t which houses my dj controller you guys have seen that in uh one of my gig logs we have some chave pins that technically see i'm doing a little bit more cleaning they they go right there 
Uh, let's see here, an APC uh, controller. I use this a lot for Show Express. So if I'm not using the elation rig, I use this so I can have knobs and faders using Show Express. It's always nice to have uh, to have knobs and faders when programming lighting. So if you if you're using a software-based um, control surface such as Show Express or maybe uh, My DMX, anything like that, or if you're using um, you know a lot of the programs now, you can add on MIDI controllers to them. So even with the 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 um, Onyx system with the M2Go, I can add that on just to have more knobs and faders. Oh, perfect. This is one of the LED PARs. They're, they're super durable. Um, they're very heavy duty and uh, they rock. I don't know why it's out, but it should go in this case here. Got a couple of LED UV PARs. Um, I believe Arnaldo Offerman did a video on these on Amazon. Um, they looked interesting. I needed something cheap and affordable for a, a UV party that was outside. These work fantastic. I just don't have them in a case because I only have two. So um, a lot of the stuff that you see that's hanging out will eventually get like put on this middle shelf or the top shelf just as general storage. Stuff that we don't use all the time. Up top, we have our DMX splitter. There's two of the Chave um, DMX splitters in here. This case houses, what's in here? That's empty. This is empty. Yamaha MG24 audio console. I don't know why it's in with the, uh, actually, It should go over here with audio stuff. Um, fan, fan, anytime you're using haze, you need a couple squirrel cage fans. They work out fantastic. Um, here is another one of those Chave Data Stream DMX splitters. Um, these are great and they're cheap and they're super affordable. They work really well if you need to split out your DMX. I always keep one on hand. Right here we have, um, let's see here, 12, 24, 36 of the wireless battery powered LED up lights from Rasha Professional. A lot of people make the same style light, whether you're buying from an American company or an overseas company. Um, I bought mine through Rasha Professional. I've had these six six plus years now um some of them are starting to show some age but i paid well under map from a, a major manufacturer and they've worked out well i've made my money these lights here have made me more money than anything else in this shop and it's not even close so the led pars from rasha professional in here we have our uh, speaker scrims. Anything that we're scrimming up, speaker stands or, or truss totems or whatever, that houses all of our scrims. We've got some wireless DMX stuff. These are the dongles. What's in here? Oh, I know what this is. This is a single elation or technically it's a 12 channel Alation um, DMX controller. Um, what's so good about this thing is, is it's battery powered. So you can put a, where's the battery holder? There's a nine volt battery on the side. So if I'm sending out some LED up lights and they kind of want the colors to change and stuff dur uh, during the duration of the evening, this is a lot easier than sending out another computer for Show Express. Uh, also, if we're doing sparklers or anything, we're, we're only controlling one or, one or two fixtures and we don't want to have to take out a, a complete rig for Show Express. This thing works awesome. So this is the Alation SDC-12. Great little single stage controller. Let's see here. These are cases for 7R beams, which are on the truss right now. Normally they're stacked up on top of these. So I've got two, four, six, eight of those seven uh, R beams that work out really well. Um, right here we've got our cold spark machines. I bought these from Art Fox. Um, they work, I wouldn't say just as well as the Chauvin units, but they cost a hell of a lot less. So we've got four of those guys. I keep my powder in a little tub on top because that powder is quite expensive. 
like I said, those cases are generally stacked on top of these cases. And then we've got the, the big guys, the Chave Legend 550 spots, a great profile fixture. Um, when a beam isn't just what you're looking for, uh, a great profile fixture is one to have. Yes, it is a little bit older, um, but they still work really, really well. This case here, normally it's going to go right where those cases are, but I had some lights stacked up, so I didn't want to put it back where it went. This is our uh, case for our Legend 412 washes. There's eight of them in there. They work really good. Another uh, fixture that's, you know, it's older, um, but still, you know, if, if you can get even a show or two out of them per year and you're going to use them i think something like that is not generally worth selling off even though it's, it may be an older fixture it's still something that you might be able to hang on to if you think you're going to use it once or twice a year up here up top this is just like crap essentially so we've got we've got some dimmer packs we've got some of these uh barn door led profile lights from Chave. I don't even know what these are called. What are these? Uh, Slim Bank Tri 8s. So anytime I'm doing like a product spotlight and need like a studio setup, um, I use these guys. They don't generally go out on jobs though. And then we've got miscellaneous like parts and hardware, uh, you know, bistro lighting, which we have a ton of, um, little bitty little bitty leekos which are, are cute um glow sticks uh confetti cannons uh just general lighting crap goes on this second shelf and then all of the equipment goes down on the ground level now we're switching over into our our audio side we've got a lot of audio stuff um a lot of audio stuff but it's not, believe me, I'm not trying to show off because a lot of this stuff isn't even like top flight stuff, but it is what it is. Let's get to it. Audio wise, consoles, we have our monitor rig, which houses an X32 with a whole bunch of drawers and stuff set up with wireless and, and whatnot. Um, we have another X32 in a case. Um, this case houses our small compact uh, live sound setup. So the one that I did with getting started on live sound, that's what is in this case here. It's got uh, four channels of wireless, a um, X-Air unit, and um, that's about it in there. So anytime we're doing a small show where it's less than 15 or so inputs, if we're doing a you know a three-piece band or something like that, we would much rather send out this guy versus a full desk and operate this off of an iPad. Back here in the back, we've got eight channels of uh, Shure SLX wireless. That's a, a complete wireless rack ready to go out the door. Um, I used to have all of my wireless in my monitor rack, but I kept getting calls for people needing wireless, and this was just the easiest thing to do. So uh, wireless in there. Now we're getting over into our oh hammock for those days that I want to sit in the shop and do nothing. We're getting into all of like the big trunks. So this houses our 10.5 power. This is our AC power. I'm gonna go ahead and just open this one up so you can kind of see like we've got tons and tons and tons of electrical cable. But then again, this isn't in the grand scheme of things. It's not that much. But I try to put all of the uh, all of the power stuff over here. So we've got. 10.5 power. We've got AC power. This is our rigging trunk. So anytime we're doing any rigging, it's got span sets and beam clamps and safeties and all that stuff lives in there. Shackles and, and what have you, whatnot. Uh, we've still got room for growth. So this is pretty much empty. We'll figure out something to go here. Back in the back, we've got Sokopex. Sokopex probably should go over here with our power, um, but if you don't know what a Sokopex cable is, I'll throw it up here. Simply, it's six circuits down one cable. Works out great. Our stage snakes for audio. This is our mic stand uh, trunk. This case here costs like 800 bucks. It's so expensive for what it is, but when you've got a $120 microphone stand in each hole, it adds up quick and it's a good way to protect your investment while keeping it super organized. Uh, we've got a blown VRX box that needs some repair. 
a little bit too much uh, got got a little too bit happy on the on a show blue box uh small yamaha analog desk this goes out a lot on rentals but i haven't personally used it in three or four years but people people still need an option for rental uh, in the bags here we've got a pair of ev zlx 15 powered speakers and then up top we've got lots of empty cases i bought all of these cases from a company called elite core or osp cases they're right up the road from me and they cut me a hell of a deal so i bought them just for growth there's probably 10 or 12 up there um, they cut me a heck of a deal these cases you know generally work out to be seven eight hundred bucks a piece um, and i caught a good deal so why not buy because i know eventually i will need more room and there it is and then more amp racks and small baby cases and, and stuff like that up top. Just trying to think. Mic stands, guitar stands, drum hardware. Uh, we've got a mirror ball. Uh, let's see here, what else? We've got shipping materials. Anytime I sell something, I always you know, like to keep the, the shipping materials. That way I don't have to pay for boxes. And we've got basic parts and accessories. Moving on. All right, over here we've got all, uh, this is Stand Central, along with uh, some Dots T-Pars. I got another one. It's out, but all of our uh, stands that the DJs, minus what the DJ needs, are, are right here. So stands, various lengths of pipe that we put on truss. We got some Schedule 40 pipe back there. We got uh, these uh, Duratrust stands. We got some more stands back there. Stand Central, all in this, uh, all in this box here. This, uh, this box is empty, but this is like, that's, you've seen uh, one of my videos talk about me just loading stuff in this box instead of having to take uh, three or four of those. I take out what I need, put it in this box, and that way it's ready to go. These six boxes here hold uh, two JBL VRX per, uh, so I have a total of 12 of those guys. Coming over into sub speaker corner, we've got um, eight of the JBL uh, STX 828s. Uh, there's there's another set behind this set here. Various DJ controllers, I got one missing. Uh, mics, stuff that kind of doesn't have a home yet, but will. That's our shrub wall that we put up for bridal shows. I'm eventually gonna attach it to some sheets of lumber, um, but I have not done so yet, so that's what that is um let's see here various stuff this is actually flooring from my house uh, we we ripped up all our carpet put flooring down this is the excess so i'm thinking about making like a feature wall inside of the studio just to uh maybe have a little bit more of like a, a quality background whenever um i do either live streams or um just videos in the shop in general uh, i think that would look better than just like a standard wall in the middle, this is all crap that's for sale. This is all crap that's for sale. Subwoofer wise, we got two of the EKX 18s. We've got two of the DRM 18s back there. Um, if you look way back there, those are the DRM uh, three-way cabinets for Mackie. We have four uh, in this cart here of the EKX 15 um, speaker monitors, whatever I use them for. Um, there's four of them in a cart right there. We've got duplicate amp racks. Both of them house four of the um, of the EV CP 4000S um, amps, along with drive rack processing and power. Then we've got four of the TurboSound IQ8 uh, series that we use for speakers on a stick or front fills, uh, little wedges, whatever. That's what those are. And these red boxes here uh, are our one-ton CM Lodestar chain motors. We've got six of those guys. They hang out over here. On top of it, we have uh, one of our power distros. Um, so that's a, that's a three-phase power distro. This one here is like an RV style plug uh, power distro. So you can see it's got like an RV plug in there. A lot of cities have these installed and then um, all of our power is hanging down on the bottom. So that comes in handy there. This big case is our mirror photo booth. It's big, it's heavy, it's uh, a, a intrusive, but it is what it is. 
we've got the uh the workbench uh this is our for for woodwork so i just built this a couple days ago it's on wheels so i had a little table saw stand but the problem is it just gets dust everywhere so this one's on wheels i can pick it up and i can move it out of the way so i can show you what else we got going on but that thing is going to come in super handy because i can roll it outside to the parking lot and not get dust in the shop walking back over here this is where all of our uh, 22 inch truck packs come in each of them have their their own various labeling on them powercon iec xlr we've got motor control We've got a video trunk. We've got a uh, NL4 trunk. We've got a DMX trunk. Um, and all of this, these are all feeder for uh, electric. So all of that is number two feeder, uh, four aught feeder, and also another set of number two feeder. Coming back over here, this is the main like DJ works workstation. So they come in, essentially they grab a pair of speakers, they grab a tote up there, they grab a table, their speaker stands, whatever they need. Uh, my plan is to go through here and label everything. That way I can set Christian or Frankie or Bryson, whoever up. Uh, that way they know when they come in the office, they know where their equipment is. They don't have to go very far. They get, you know, they've got checklists. So, we, uh what i'm not sure where i left off but i'm gonna have you know we've got checklists so i'm gonna have it labeled for each dj some of the djs keep their own stuff at home some of them it's easier you know they don't have a lot of space it's easier for them to leave it all here but um it's as simple as grabbing a set of speakers grabbing a tote grabbing a table and then grabbing a facade and running out the door it, you know and that way once i get their totes labeled it's going to have their name on it that way they know exactly what they need if they left something it's on them but of course we uh we're going to scan everything in and out when they uh when they come pick it up here at the shop so yeah there's that um let's see here this is various audio stuff you know kind of small stuff uh we've got walkie talkies that we use at festivals headphone amps if you know if we're working with a small band that doesn't want to use wedges it's easier for you know for us to do headphone amps we're looking at getting wireless ears soon um, but we're not there yet uh, we've got an alto stealth unit for doing wireless speakers and then all of these are single um mic kits a lot of these go out for ceremonies um sure blx 4r as you guys know that's that's my uh wireless of choice especially for the dj side they're cheap they're affordable and they work good empty spot we'll figure out something there um this is photo booth stuff so photo booth props uh etc care backdrop stand um printer we've got our new um ipad booth that uses the ipad pro um, i actually just got it not too long ago it's still kind of in pieces uh, i haven't put it together yet just because i don't have a gig to take it to but um like i was saying with the like i was saying with the mirror booth it's all fine and dandy it works really well but the problem with the mirror booth is uh, i have to send it out with the van um, which can become troublesome if we have it you know when we need the van um, or somebody has to have a pickup truck and uh, like two of my five guys have pickup trucks but it's just it's just a lot more work than it should be um, so I bought an iPad booth, a social booth, you know, anybody can stick it in their car. I can hire a, like a young assistant that's in high school, you know, a girl or boy, it doesn't matter. It's light for them to pick up. Um, it, there's not a lot of moving parts, so I don't have to worry about printer issues and all that stuff. It's, it's simply a social booth. Um, we're going to be using the salsa booth app. Uh, we didn't buy the salsa booth, but we're going to be using that app. You can, you can buy. I think it's a hundred dollars a month. Don't, uh, don't hold me to that. But it's something, it's something around that area. Continuing on. Uh, what we got up top? Uh, cooler for you know festival work, cones for festival work. That way we can kind of not let people park where, 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 ooh, brain fart. Cooler for festival work, cones, so we can block off spaces at festivals, various stuff, uh, different buckets for liquids, uh, carpet cleaner for cleaning whatever, and various slats of wood. Coming over here, this is all, um, this is all just random randomness kind of organized chaos again this is the cleanest the shop has ever been or at least been since i moved in but 
at the same time uh, it can't be perfect so uh chairs lawn chairs for festivals and the like we've got sandbags back here um oh a lot of you guys ask me how do i get my stencils or how do i get my logo put on my case and it is a simple it's a stencil so i had a sign shop make this up um it's it's made out of plastic so you can go to any sign shop probably in your town and get them to cut you a uh, a stencil out super cheap but works really well uh broken mic stands this is stuff that needs to be addressed but this is like truss central so we've got um book hinges for when we need to do some uh some some feature type stuff with truss uh we've got uh corner hoist or corner joints uh, we've got 90 degree angle joints back there and then we've got truss pins and then we've got truss uh nuts and bolts moving over to truss this is all the truss we got. We've got the standard uh, American uh, truss that's more the professional grade. So we've got 80 feet of, uh, of Generico uh, USA truss right here. And then we've got all sorts of global stuff. So we've got a little over 100 feet of global uh, varying sizes. We got some 10 foot. We got some 8 foot. We've also got 8 foot that's mounted over there that my lights are running off of and then we've got six foot for dj totems and and things of that nature uh ladders all that stuff garage door the work truck and uh and van then let's go over here we're just gonna make a big circle in this room this is like more or less the back line anything that needs to be climate controlled uh, whether it's a drum kit yes it's set up right now but this is the same backline kit that we take out to festivals or whatever it's a gretsch catalina maple um seven piece we're only using a couple of them now we got uh various Sild uh, zildjian and sabian symbols we've got a bass rig over here um, we usually have guitar cabinets here, but they are, I think, one's in the office and one isn't here. Um, drum hardware, various drums, anything that needs to be climate controlled, like super sensitive electronics, like tube guitar amplifiers, it all lives in this room here. And I like to play drums too. So whenever, um, you know, I've been drumming, ooh, 25 years now. Um, so I, i'm a drummer by trade be looking out for like some more videos on the production side how to mic a drum kit um stuff like that that i plan on doing in the very near future um we just haven't gotten there yet uh moving over here this is uh my desk when i'm not in the office sometimes it's nice just to it's it's nice to be able to come out out here with the door open watch the traffic go by not be cooped up in the four walls that is the office even though i have a pretty good size office um compared to to a lot of the offices that i've seen like on the internet for for production dj houses i have a i have a good size office but at the same time i also like to come out here it's sunny it's you know um watch the traffic go by say hi to people so when i'm not in the office this is my uh this is my desk for when i'm not in the office this is a uh, fleet maintenance care central so i am also a car guy a lot of you guys know i'm a car guy too and when you have multiple fleet vehicles or, or multiple vehicles that belong to your company it's a lot easier to to learn how to do the maintenance and do the maintenance yourself so oil changes fluid changes tire rotations all that stuff uh, we do all that in-house i don't send it out to anybody um, diesel truck maintenance is expensive if you take it somewhere and have your oil changed you're looking at uh, a minimum of 150 bucks um, if you have your fuel filters changed there you're probably looking at closer to 200 250 um, and it's easier for me to do it all here plus um, I really like keeping my vehicles clean so all of uh, all the detail supplies on top uh, maintenance and, uh, and and stuff here waxes and all that stuff oil uh, battery charger pressure washer clean and dirty microfiber towels all this is uh, is fleet vehicle maintenance up here pegboard full of just random tools that you need um, especially you guys that are looking to get your own warehouse you'll you'll find you'll come to find that an assortment of tools is necessary for just about anything um, you're going to be building things you're going to be fixing things you need 
tools um, and again it's a marathon not a race I didn't go out and buy all this stuff the first month that I opened um, I've been here two through almost three years now and you know I've just now got a little bit of everything that I need um, even in, when it comes to stuff like clamps and, and things of that nature it's just easier to buy something that way you have it and you can do projects in the future like uh, like my table saw table that I, I just built basically out of uh, out of scrap lumber that I had put some wheels on it and now whenever I, I need to cut something instead of dirtying up in here that fine uh, like particle dust that just gets on everything I can take it roll it outside shut the door and then uh, and then continue with my work so again you're gonna need tools tools just come in handy you need you need all of this stuff you don't need all of it but it, it comes in handy uh wrapping back around this is in this box here this old road trunk you know it's, you even see it spilling off of the side this is all wire that should be repurposed it's just you know copper isn't cheap um so i like to reuse wire whenever i can whether it's um this is for a trailer pigtail we've got some old power stuff in there um looks like we got some old gangway boxes that you know need to be uh attended to we've got old nl4 cable all of this is, is simply just scrap cable that i can make something out of and then also this big loom down here i need to you know go through it see what's usable and we can put it back in service down here on the bottom this is most of our installation stuff we do some systems integration stuff installs um coax cable cat5 mic line more um cat5 various tools for uh, different applications and this is the workbench where you know this is all stuff that's broken or needs to be reviewed this is stuff that i'm going to be doing a video on very soon this is the uh the cat sas system from elite core and this allows you to send lines over ethernet uh which is pretty dope i'll be doing a review on that very soon we've also got a uh, a couple speakers that need to be reconed various power tools um this is one of the lights i was telling you about i've i've had these forever five or six years now and uh the white led diode has gone out in this so it needs repair um, these hdmi cables got ran over by a forklift so they need to be repaired um, this is generally like repair central um, i come over here and do it or i can start using my new workbench over there and then um, various nuts bolts install stuff electrical connectors power tools uh, this is just this is tool corner um, we'll keep on going over here this is various paints solvents things of that nature we got we got all sorts of stuff in here um, all of it gets used whether it's paint for the office paint for speaker cabinets um, you know we've got greaseless lube that we put on our chain motor uh, chains uh, lots of black spray paint spray adhesive plasti dip you see it we probably got it and then beside the workbench we've got the work box it's always nice to have you know a work box on job site it generally houses everything that we need to do a job oh i'm trying to forget what did i miss guys um i'm trying to think of what did i miss oh we've got some uh, some lighting projects going on right now that's one of the main reasons let me sit you guys down and like really talk to you things like you know things like having that lighting truss is one of the main reasons why i even wanted a warehouse spot um it's just i'm a very visual person so if i if you know if i want to set some lights up and program or dive a little bit deeper into my lighting software yes there's things like capture and previs out there but i want to set the lights up see what they do see what happens when i move the knobs and faders that was one of the really big things that i was missing out on when having um you know having my uh you know my storage units that i had before moving on to this um and and there'll there'll be a day when i won't necessarily have to set up you know trust and lights um to learn a program but until i feel comfortable with it seeing it and in front of my face and and moving something seeing it th that same thing react um that's one of the reasons one of the main reasons why uh i wanted a warehouse facility also i just ran out of room i've got a lot of stuff in here that we've just accumulated over years and years and years there's no right way to do it there's no easy way 
way to do it. Um, this is not a race. It is 100% a marathon, um, and it takes time. It's, you know, I've been doing, I've been DJing now 13 years. Now that I'm not on the DJ side of things as much anymore, um, but, you know, I do a lot of admin stuff, and I'm still heavily involved on the production side of things, um, and it just takes time. I get a lot of emails asking me what I can do to, to get more gigs. And you're, you know, some of the some of the emails I get, you're 16, 18, 21 years old. You know, there's 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 guys out here that have been doing it for years and and, and are still um, you know in my same shoes or you know maybe even a little less. It just takes time. It takes time. Um, marketing and networking and all that stuff it's it's 100 percent the key to making your business grow it's not the gear it's the marketing it's the networking and it's your team at the end of the day and that's pretty much it you don't need a fancy warehouse you don't need a fancy office that costs you a lot of money you just need a space to store your gear and work. Uh, for me, this is my happy place. All of my stuff is here. I enjoy being here. If, if I'm not at home, I'm here. Um, and it's one of those things where a lot of people feel tied to where their office or whatever is. I enjoy being here. And I think that's probably what you should look for whenever you're looking at your new office space um, or warehouse or whatever. And, you know, take, it, take into account, are you going to enjoy spending lots and lots of time at that location so uh i i've got the uh, the m2 pc uh lighting uh lighting wing right here i'm going to uh, program some lights and uh and get back to work so uh, be on the lookout actually as i as i talk about lighting i'm thinking about doing a uh, like a late live stream as i'm um programming lights and, and going through onyx um i think it'd be cool to just sit back talk and answer questions and you can kind of see what i'm working on and we'll just uh we'll just go from there so until next time guys i appreciate you watching you know who it is dj Wu pick if you got any questions if you want to know what something is if you want to dive deeper into something that you saw uh on today's video you can always shoot me an email dj at gmail.com also feel free to follow me on all the social media platforms facebook snapchat Twitter and Instagram where I'm most active. Uh, you can find me there at DJ Woo Pig. And that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. We got a lot of new content coming out for the month of May. Also, make sure that you ring that notification bell. That way, you get notified every time that I post something fun and exciting. We've got a lot of good interviews coming up for the month of May, uh, one that I'm extremely pumped about. I think you guys will be as well, but more on that in the coming days. Until next time, guys, see you later.